Uh, how many cars does Tesla need to produce if robo taxis become cheaper than vehicle ownership? That's a phenomenal question. How do you think about that? Oh, I actually did this math at one point. Um, I think the, the global fleet of, I don't know the exact number, but let's just say it's 1.5 billion units. And you mm -hmm. assume that each car is, uh, just to make the math easier, let's say three times more efficient uh, or, or more utilized. So then that, that means you only need a total fleet of self-driving cars. That's 500 million units rather than 1.5. And so then you just say, okay, how long will those last? And so if, if they're being driven more, so they'll turn over maybe every five years instead of every 10 years. So then your, your 500 million units divided by um, five years average life, um, that means that you'd be selling hundred million units globally a year. So, and so then maybe Tesla has 20% market share, um, that gets you to, to 20 million units. So that's like maybe a way to, to back test. And I think I did that math, right. Which is a miracle. Wow. <laughs> finally, finally did something right. So this is a question of when will this happen? And then what is going to be the cost per mile of that unit? And the, the way I think about that is okay. So the first question for robo taxis to be first introduced part of me still says sometime in the next 12 months ish with some trials in in some small cities but like very very like small trials maybe vegas uh miami austin something just you know san francisco pick three or four small jurisdictions to sort of do some tests but then for it to permeate the planet and for every single person to have access for this thing is going to take a long time so yeah. 10 to 20 years For so sure. this is a question about 10 to 20 years so by that point tesla's manufacturing capability conceptually as i'm as i'm as i'm thinking about it is going to be optimized to drive those whatever that market is as much as humanly possible so the entire supply chain and everything and the manufacturing capacity is going to be built around that so what we think of a, as a car today is not going to be a, a car in the next 10 to 20 years so the question changes but even within that if the robo taxi based on the assumptions of will be super safe way safer than a human so the cost associated to running a car from an insurance perspective or whatever go dramatically down you have basically no maintenance on something that has no moving parts so relative to a so say a car that somebody has to drive plus drives on gas is going to be significantly cheaper and then you have the cost of manufacturing which is going to be maybe an order of magnitude less than say like your typical car that you would drive around today over time 10 to 20 years which means that the cost per mile basically more than half so it could be as much as 80 90 percent cheaper so the, the the amount of people that have access to it becomes dramatically larger and then you also have a mechanism of the rest of the world is going to be able to afford these things over time as more and more countries become developed they have infrastructure and tesla becomes more and more available across across the planet so that's how i think about it and by the time we're there if tesla has the data advantage and Tesla has the hardware advantage, the Tesla is the player. <laughs> and so it's just yeah. a question of what's the multiple in that business at that time.